Samsung at this year's fair in Barcelona showed the world a new Galaxy S. Also in two variants, S7 and a big bigger this time S7 Edge. Today we'll take up the second model. My name is Marcin Weiss and this is unboxing and review of the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. Phone is premium, so box also should be premium. Samsung gone long since abandoned a cardboard from recycling and packing their smartphones in a good quality and perfectly tailored package. When we open the box, our smartphone appears. Below, we can find a tool to pull the SIM card and micro SD through. Fast adaptive charger, USB cable, micro USB adapter to transfer data between two phones without using a computer, headset and of course user manual. We can tell that Samsung this year tried to make already great smartphones even better. We have a minor cosmetic changes. From outside, S7 Edge is not much different from the last year version. The same style plus glass and aluminum makes that we know immediately that we are dealing with a solid device. The difference between the version S6 Edge and S7 Edge is the size. Samsung decided that the curved model will be 0.4 inch larger than predecessor, which I think came good when it comes to ergonomics. Materials and a perfect fitting makes the smartphone looks amazing and prestige. There is no chance of any squeaks. Gorilla Glass 4 wrapped around the front and back of the device makes the smartphone resistant to scratches and falls from a low height. The S7 and S7 Edge models has IP68 certificate, which means that they are dust proof and waterproof to a depth of 1.5 meter of 30 minutes and all this without use of cheeky plastic plugs as it was in the Galaxy S5. In the S7 Edge we have 5.5 Quad HD panel with resolution of 1440 times 2560 and density of 534 pixel per inch as well as the name indicates the phone is a screen bent on the both edges. What can I say more? In my opinion, this is the best panel available on the market so far. Samsung will improve their screens at the turn of a few years. As this is an AMOLED screen, the depth of black is incredible. And even the colors are warm and natural. Curved screens add this smartphone incredible glory. Depending on the market, inside we can find 8 core Exynos 8890 or Snapdragon 820 processor, both supported by 4GB of RAM and a liquid cool to ensure maximum performance and reduce excessive overheating during intensive use. This year Samsung bet on entertainment, about 64% more efficient GPU than it was in the previous model is designed for perfectly cope with the most demanding titles should be mentioned that S7, like its S7 Edge, are the first smartphones in the world that use the new graphical interface Vulkane, which significantly improves the quality of entertainment. As we are talking about games, we cannot forget to mention about the game launcher, in which you can find all games installed on your device and from which we can determine incoming notification we can record our gameplay. From now on, we can expand our memory up to 200GB thanks to memory card slot. Samsung has been strongly criticized a year ago for the lack of the memory expansion in their smartphones. Another advantage is the bigger battery. On board we have battery with a capacity of 3600 mAh, supported by fast charging will let us to use smartphones very intensive for all day.
Android 6.1.1 Marshmallow, a 30% more powerful processor, let the smartphone work without any lag. The interface runs fast. A smooth animation will make interaction with the device even better. The features what we can find on board of S7 Edge is mainly Edge screen, where Samsung adds extra features. In addition to the Edge people and Edge apps, we have access to a variety of panels, such as news, tools, weather, and many more. Certainly, in the future the number of panels will increase. These features have appeared on the S6 Edge and S6 Edge Plus with Marshmallow update. S7 and S7 Edge finally have features which should be available in a Samsung smartphone ages ago. It's called Always On Display. All important information displayed all the time when screen is off. What makes that you don't have to wake up your phone if you want to check time on an unread notification. A little too late Samsung, but as they saying, better late than never. New Android also brings a new service, now on tap where it is activated by long pressing the home button. TouchWiz seems to be a bit refreshed. Do not forget about the possibility to change the team. Hundreds are available from Samsung Team Store. Everyone will find something for themselves. A year ago Samsung set the bar high when it comes to the camera. This year, he raised the bar even higher. The matrix was reduced from 16 to 12 megapixels, but nothing to worry about. The new device uses a feature called Dual Pixel, which means that each pixel on the image sensor have two, instead of one, photodiodes, which translates into a very good pictures even in difficult lighting condition. In addition, S7 and S7 Edge have got the fastest autofocus available in mobile devices so far. A cool feature is the motion panorama mode that allows us to make a moving panoramic image that will receive every captured moment. On the front there is a 5 megapixel camera which also has several interesting features. The beauty that was known to us from previous models gained one more additional option. One of them is a spotlight, where we have a chance to light up our face from different angles. As you can see, Samsung ended arms race. This year, focus on a main greatest this function that are most important. The memory card, even better camera, waterproof. You can see that this North Korean manufacturer finally matured and most importantly listened to its customers. In my opinion, S7 Edge it has a good chance of success. It's a piety only that Samsung got rid of the infrared sensor. For me, this smartphone is complete. I don't need anything else. It was review of the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. If you enjoyed this video, click like button. And do not forget to share this video that your friends can see it. And invite you to subscribe to my Wise Digital channel. I'm Martin Wise. Thanks for watching and see you later.